Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another special squad builder with me, your boy FIFA One HD. This episode, we're going to be looking at an incredibly overpowered, dirty, sweaty pace squad from the MLS. It is insanely effective, really fun to use, and my god does it frustrate your opponents. But before we kick off and get into the squad builder, it would mean a great deal to me if you would hammer that like button below, share the love. If you have any questions on the players that I've used, or FIFA 16 in general, leave them in the comments below, I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe, it really does help out the channel. So we're going to kick off in goal with... Tim Howard, the American shot stopper, a really good goalkeeper, very popular in FIFA, you know, for a while now in Ultimate Team. He's just very solid. He does what it says on the tin. He stops them shots from going in. He's not the most, you know, agile goalkeeper and he's not the most flashy, but he's just really effective and for chemistry reasons, he had to make this team. So now we're going to uh, just switch this over to MLS players. Because he is the only one who comes from actually outside the MLS. And we have at right back, we have Marvel Wynn. You know, sometimes he bounces around between right back and centre back. It's sort of a shame that he isn't a centre back because his pace is ridiculous. But he's still a great right back. A really fun player to use. He's got great physicality, lovely pace, good height as well. Good in the air, you know. The, the pace in this team is ridiculous and Marvel win kicking it off really does exemplify that at center back we have a pairing of Farrell and Opara these guys are ridiculous now while they're quite not quite 90 pace you know 82 and 86 combined is just ridiculous especially when you throw in that all right these cards are silver but look at Opara there he's got 72 defense 82 physicality and 86 pace that is an incredible center back by any any standard it really is and similarly with Farrell while he's not quite as good as Apara you know his pace and his physicality is insane and these guys it's just really hard they're always covering for each other it's so hard for opponents to actually get past them they're really good at left back we have Ashe Again, you know, 86 pace, it's just ridiculous. Not the best sort of defending physicality, but he's a decent all-round player. And his pace, just combined with everything else, just proves a very, very effective defence that is so hard for even the quickest, you know, opponents to get through. They're always covering for each other. Very, very good indeed. Now, at CDM, this, this is an interesting move because... I've actually converted players and pushed them down. You know, these guys are like strikers and I've pushed them back into CDM. And that may sound crazy, but we're going to put Kennedy in. I can't pronounce his name, so please don't make me try it. And Hurtado. So as you can see there, we've got 90 pace and 91. These guys, I've picked them because, especially with Hurtado, decent physicality, you know. So while they're not maybe the best at, at defending, you, know, you can see they're 29 and 31 respectively. They've got decent physicality. They've got that bit of height, that bit of uh, presence, you know, in that middle of the park. And their pace more than makes up for their poor tackling ability. And to be honest, you don't notice that they're, they're not CDMs because they're brilliant. They buzz around that sort of area, protecting the back four, nicking the ball, making interceptions. And then once they win the ball back, you know, they've got each other to pass the ball to and they've got the forward players to really get you moving so fast. This is a very sweaty team, as I stated earlier, but it's such a great counter-attacking team because when these guys win the ball, not only can they get moving forward very, very fast, they've got loads and loads of players around them who are all making great runs, who are all super quick and can get on the end of almost any pass. And it just makes for a really good team. The formation is set up super well to help out all of these guys as well. So it just makes for a very solid, compact team that can break very, very fast. And when you do break, you've got players with superb quality to be able to score you some goals. We have Giovinco going in now. What a great player he is. 90 pace, 
85 dribbling, great shooting and passing as well. A really solid player, works well in this position because it buys him a little bit of space. You know, he's neither a winger nor a traditional in the centre sort of cam. And it just means that he can, you know, cut inside, he can drift out to the wing, he can feed the strikers very, very well indeed. And Giovinco is just a great player to use, very fun, very good indeed. At the extra cam position, you know, we could have gone for De Santos, who probably would be a better option in all honesty, but I'm keeping keeping the overall rating down, and I'm going for Zardes, because he's got decent dribbling, and he's got very, very good pace, also good physicality, tall lad, helps out well in defence, and just overall just really makes and embodies that team where, you know, sometimes, especially Kennedy, who I scored a lot of goals with, will be getting forward and Zardes can cover. And it just works well. They all interlink well and they all help each other out when one goes forward, the other covers, and etc. And Zardes really does exemplify that. He's good going forward. He's a really solid player to use. And again, keeps that overall rating down. So you can just get maybe a you know, slightly easier match or two where you're not coming up against ridiculous teams, which will happen because people stack their bench with bronze players. But, you know, even so, you're still going to frustrate the hell out of them because this team is so, so good. Now, finishing this team off up front, we have Emergahara. Emergahara, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I apologise if I've got that wrong. But, wow, what a player he is. 94 pace. Good shooting there with 70 and decent dribbling with 76. Scored me a fair amount of goals, was very, very effective in front of goal, linked well with the team, as did everyone, to be honest. It really did work super well together. And, uh, you know, they all fed this guy who I'm going to put in now, who really is the main man for this team, and that is Oberfemi Mines. Because, obviously, you know, there's only a few goal players within this team. So, sometimes you will you'll create a lot of chances. Let me put it out there. You will create a lot of chances with this team. Whereas some of the silver players maybe will miss a few more gilt edge chances, but Martins and Giovinco will not. You know, Martins is fantastic. He's got really solid shooting, great pace, decent physicality, nice dribbling as well. He seems so, so strong when he's on the ball. Really hard to knock off because he's got the good balance and agility, etc. Just overall, a really solid player to use who caps off this team superbly and really does just create so many chances both for himself and for his teammates and when he does create them chances man does he bury them it's a brilliant team to use guys it really is i had so much fun using this team i did a similar team last year had to move things around because certain players left and 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 things are like out and change position etc so it is slightly different but the results remain the same. You will get so many wins with this team and it feels so easy. You know, while they're not the best players in the world, their pace and the whole team's pace just means that you don't give your opponent any time on the ball. They get frustrated, they start doing silly things and then you can break super quick, get the ball high up to the real guys that matter and you'll be scoring goal after goal and having so much fun doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, squad builder, guys. If you did, like I said, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and peace. Oh, shit. Mm, shit. It probably was. Yeah. Oh, my God. You've got a legend. Have I? I've got to. <laughs> I have no idea, but really. Are oh, any of these? Who's this guy? This card looks interesting. Oh! Stop with this card looks interesting! Go to the <laughs> fucking front! <laughs>